Welcome to this video about moderated mediation with process model number 15. That is a moderated mediation in which the moderator moderates the B path and at the same time the direct effect C prime. In this video I show you how to interpret the output. But before we can start with that, I show you which parameters I've used to generate this output. Model number, dependent variable, independent variable, mediator, I have one covariate in the model, and the moderator. In order not to care about possible non-normality for the A path or the B path, I use bootstrap inference. Next we go to the options. I'd like to have code for visualizing interactions. I'd like to mean center for construction of products, but only for continuous variables. I'm using a robust standard error, HC4, in order not to care about possible heteroscedasticity. I prefer three decimal places for the output and conditioning values at minus one standard deviation, mean and plus one standard deviation. And I'd like to get a Johnson name in output. Before we look at the output, two additional remarks. Instead of the dialog, you could use process syntax. It's more flexible. You have options you don't have with a dialog. If you want to know more about that, I've written a tutorial for the main process syntax options. The link is in the description. And regression assumptions. Moderated mediation is based on regression models, and regression models have assumptions. If you want to know more about how to deal with those assumptions in the context of a process model, I've made a video tutorial about that. The link is in the description too. I'd like to start at the top of the output, checking whether I have really used the correct variables. Then I go to the end of the output, checking for possible error messages. In this case, fortunately, there are none. Then, about two-thirds down, we come to the main part of the output, direct and indirect effects of x on y. And the most important line of the output is down here, the index of moderated mediation. This index tests if there is a moderated mediation in this model or not. It's calculated by multiplying the regression weight for the A path with the regression weight for the interaction of the B path. So it tests two things at the same time, whether we have an A path and we, whether we have a moderated B path. The distribution of this index is not known, so we don't have a p-value here. We only have bootstrap confidence intervals. So in order to see whether this index is significant, we have to look at the two borders of the confidence interval and whether zero is part of the confidence interval. Here zero isn't part of the confidence interval, therefore we have a significant index of moderated mediation, therefore we have a moderated mediation. In a way that's it. Everything else we'll be looking at is just follow-up information to this crucial fact. Next we'll be looking at the conditional indirect effects. So for three different values of the moderator, and in the dialog I've chosen minus one standard deviation, mean and plus one standard deviation, we look at the indirect effect and whether this indirect effect is significant. Here we have no p-value but only bootstrap confidence interval, so we have to look at the confidence intervals and whether the zero is part of the confidence interval or not. In this case, for all three values of the moderator, we have a significant indirect effect and those three indirect effects are significantly different from each other. We know that because the index of moderated mediation is significant. In a mediation model, we have not only an indirect effect, but a possible direct effect. With process model 15, this direct effect is moderated by our moderator, so we don't have just one direct effect, but many direct effects. And here the conditional direct effects show the direct effect dependent on the value of the moderator, minus one standard deviation, mean and plus one standard deviation. Here we have p-values, and those p-values are based on robust standard errors, which we see here. Now we look at the other two parts of the model, the model for the A path and the model for the B path and C prime path. Here's the model for the A path. It's quite simple. It's a regression with the independent variable and in our case with the covariate. The interesting part is here. The A path is significant, that is the independent variable x, 
has a significant effect on the mediator. The second regression model is a little bit more complex. It contains the B pair and the direct effect C prime, and both those effects are moderated. Therefore, here we have two interactions. Under the product terms key, we see that the first interaction is the interaction for the C prime pair, that is for the direct effect, and the second interaction is the interaction for the B pair. And if we look here at the p values, we see that both interactions are significant, again with robust standard errors. So we know that the B pair is moderated by our moderator, and at the same time the direct effect C prime is moderated by the moderator. If we want to know the effect sizes for those moderations, we find them here under R2 change. The interaction for the direct effect explains 0.9% of the variance of the dependent variable, and the interaction for the B pair explains 0.3% of the variance of the dependent variable. Since both those interactions are significant, we'll be looking at the follow-up tests for those two significant interactions. The first follow-up information is for the moderation of the direct effect. Here we get the simple slopes, that is the direct effect at three different values of the moderator. Then we get to the Johnson name and significance regions. For moderator values that are smaller than minus 1.325, we don't have a significant effect. And for moderator values above minus 1.325, we have a significant effect. And here's the syntax for visualizing those simple slopes. You can copy them, paste them into an SPSS syntax file, run it, and add lines for the subgroups. And here we get the same information for the moderation of the B path. Here are the simple slopes, that is, the B path at three different values of the moderator. Here are the Johnson name and significance regions. And here's the code for visualizing those simple slopes. Now there remains one thing to check, and it's near the end of the output. Here are the bootstrap results for those two models, for the model for the A path and for the model for the B path and the C prime path. Those results don't depend on the normality assumption, so by checking the confidence interval we can make sure that the results above are valid even if the normality assumption doesn't hold. So that's it. I hope this has been helpful for you. The links to the other tutorials I've mentioned are in the description of this video.